Hi, I am Dr. Arvind Kumar, currently Director, Institute of Robotic Surgery at Sir Gangaram Hospital, New Delhi. I am going to tell you the benefits and details of robotic surgery. Robotic surgery is the latest addition in the surgical armamentarium. It's a highly sophisticated tool which is available for surgeons today to offer cutting edge surgery to our patients. It's a surgery where a robot is interposed between the patient and the surgeon and the surgeon carries out surgery on the patient with the assistance of the robot. Many times when we mention the word robotic surgery, uh, patients feel that probably a humanoid robot will come into the theater and carry out the operation, but the reality is different. It's actually a cart on which we have several arms which are mounted and the control of these arms is through a console which is controlled by the surgeon. So in effect, the surgery is actually carried out by the robot, which is actually a slave working under the control of a master. So this uh, reality is that uh, in robotic surgery, the surgeon is controlling and carrying out the operation with the help of robot. A uh, natural question will arise that if surgeon is doing it, then what additional benefit are we getting from using the robot? And the answer is that the robot allows us to do the operations in a keyhole or minimally invasive manner. Conventionally, when we do operations, we make big cuts and those cuts open up the cavities and we put our hands inside and carry out the operation. In robotic surgery, on the other hand, we make small cuts, we put some special trocars through the cuts and then through those trocars we put highly sophisticated instruments which are actually just like human hands and these instruments are then under the control of surgeon sitting on the master console and he gets a magnified three dimensional view of inside of the body cavity on the monitor. So in summary here you get a magnified three dimensional view of inside of the body cavity without actually going inside the body cavity and you are able to carry out the operations within the body cavity. In addition, the precision which is offered by this method is actually far superior to what we can do in open surgery. So we have less trauma to patients, so patients stay in the ICU less, they have less chances of post-op complications, they experience much less pain after surgery, the blood loss is less, the hospital stay is shorter, the surgery is far more precise and superior and most importantly, which is very important in today's setup, patients are able to return back to their employment much faster, which is a very important uh, situation today. So it offers a lot of benefits and the only disadvantage if I may use that word today is little additional cost which is incurred because of the use of the robot which may vary depending on the type of surgery from about 65-70 thousand to a lakh of rupees over the same procedure done by an open method. I must clarify here that a robot is not a procedure specific or specialty specific machine. It's actually a tool which allows the surgeons to carry out the operations and therefore it has been applied across various disciplines. The commonest application has been in the field of urology and worldwide nearly 70 to 75 percent of all operations, robotic operations are from this field. So you have applications in neurology, then general surgery, thoracic surgery, bariatric surgery, vascular surgery, cancer surgery, uh, endocrine surgery, gynecology. So more than seven, eight different disciplines use the same machine to carry out 
different different operations in their respective fields. I am very happy to say that the Institute of Robotic Surgery at Sir Gangaram Hospital has every possible application of this modern machine being used for delivering state of the art patient care to patients suffering from different diseases. So we have more than eight <coughs> disciplines, different disciplines and teams within those departments which are using this tool to offer surgery to the patients. Any and every operation can be carried out by robotic surgery but it doesn't mean that every operation should be carried out by robotic surgery. Operations which are very simple, which do not need uh, complex maneuvers, need not have robotic technology use. It will be a misuse of technology. But any operation which involves complicated maneuvers or working in, um, in inaccessible areas within the body, those are the situations where it finds maximum application. And chest happens to be one such area where maximum applications are now coming into picture with the use of robotic surgery. So lung cancer is one area where more and more operations worldwide are now switching to robotic technology where equivalent or even better cancer operation is being carried out with the use of magnification and instrument maneuverability which we get in robotic surgery. Similarly, in esophageal cancer, again it's finding a lot of applications. Uh, for patients of myasthenia gravis and thymoma who need thymectomy, this is now probably state of the art method where you can do a radical excision of the entire gland from neck to diaphragm and from one phrenic nerve to the other by just going from one side only. In fact, the radicality of the operation may be even better than open surgery. Similarly, numerous other tumors in the mediastinum, various cysts in the mediastinum, achalasia cardia, uh, problems involving diaphragm like diaphragmatic hernia and eventration. These are all areas which we are handling by robotic method and the patients are getting tremendous benefit from this surgery. Another application which is uh, remarkable is the use of this technology for aorto bifemoral bypass surgery for patients with atherosclerosis. Again, I am very happy to report that along with the Department of Vascular Surgery, the Institute of Robotic Surgery at Sir Gangaram Hospital is the only center in Asia which offers this surgery routinely to our patients. When we move from open to laparoscopic surgery, all other procedures it was possible to perform by laparoscopy, but there were problems with the aorto bifemoral bypass because of the complex graft aorta anastomosis. The robotic assistance has made performance of this anastomosis very easy, very simple and therefore we are now able to offer completely endoscopic robotic assisted aorto bifemoral bypass for patients with atherosclerotic aorto iliac obstruction. Another interesting application is in patients with thyroid disease. As we are aware, thyroid disease often affects young females where cosmesis is an important issue and many times patients do not want to have a scar across their neck and therefore keep deferring the surgery because of the fear of scar. With the robotic assistance, now we are in a position to offer a scarless thyroidectomy by performing this operation through an axillary approach wherein the cut is actually hidden within the axilla and the robotic instruments go from axilla up to the neck and the gland can be removed. So we are in a position to offer scarless thyroidectomy to our patients with robotic assistance.